This month we're going to be talking with Pete Lawrence from Kickin' Home Inspection. Uh, let's go talk to Pete. This week we have Pete Lawrence from Kickin' Home Inspection. Uh, Pete, how are you doing today? I'm great, Kevin. Awesome. Thanks for having me. Well, we're going to get into a couple different topics here. Tell me a little bit about you know your background in, in your company, Kickin' Home Inspection. Well, Kickin' Inspection is a, Kickin' is actually a Japanese word that means foundation. Okay. Um, I've been in Colorado most of my life. I was born and raised here. I've gone to school here, and I'm raising my family here. Um, I, about 15 years ago, I started a home inspection company and have been doing inspections ever since. Awesome. Awesome. Well, tell me a little bit about what, it, what a general home inspection entails or, or what it is. General home inspection is an objective third-party look at any house okay. where we go through and look at all the systems and components of the house and evaluate them to see how well they're functioning. Okay, that makes sense. Now, why is it important for a home buyer to, to get a home ins you know, inspection from a certified Good question. professional? A lot of people don't generally have the knowledge it takes to perform their own home inspection. Okay. You may know some things about some of the trades, but to get a general home inspector out to look at a house for you is really advantageous to the average buyer. Even general contractors who build homes for a living will still call me to inspect a home that they're going to go buy. Interesting. Okay. They know that we look at things a little bit differently than, than everybody else. Than a general builder would. Yes. Okay, that makes sense. Now, what are some of the some of the uh, issues common in, in Colorado in particular? Colorado has some unique issues. The, the primary one that everybody may, is likely familiar with is expansive soils, hmm. bentonite clays, and soils that expand and contract like a sponge when they get when it gets wet and dry can tear apart a house. Hmm. And some homes are engineered for expansive soils, others are not. Um, the other unique problem to Colorado or the Intermountain region is the freeze-thaw cycle. Hmm. During the winter time, it can get up to 60 degrees during the day and the snow melts and then it freezes at night as it turns all the water. So the freeze-thaw cycle can really wreak havoc on a house. Okay. And is that the outside of the house? What, what in particular are some of the causes that? The freeze-thaw cycle can affect the exterior of the house the most, but it can also get into the flashings and under the shingles and, and cause leaks inside of the house. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Okay. Now, you know, for a, a general house, 3,000 square feet, what, what would be a cost for that type of inspection? Home inspections are based on the total square footage, and if the average 3,000 square foot house would probably be somewhere around $375 and would take somewhere between two and three hours to perform the general inspection. Okay, awesome. Now let's say someone you know has a, a home inspection from you and they get the inspection report. I, I've seen them, they're fairly large. Mm -hmm. So how do they sort through that information and then, and then what? Well, as a good inspector, I try to pride myself on giving the buyer a report they can read through and understand. Mm -hmm. And I recommend that when you get the report at the end of the day, is that you read it from cover to cover. You only get one shot to buy this house and everything you need to know is in that report. By reading it, you'll have a good understanding of what you're buying into and what the true cost of ownership of this home is going to be. Mm. And then I always encourage people to call me if they have questions after they've read through the report. There's a lot of stuff to take in on the day of the inspection and reading the report in your own time at the end of the day is one of the best ways to help you realize what you are buying. Right. Well, I know we, we've worked together quite a bit on, on uh, you know, homes when my, my home buyers are buying. A lot of times we'll do a sewer inspection, we'll do a general inspection, and then there'll be secondary inspections, whether it's a heating, cooling systems. Anything else that you're seeing, you know, trends here in the marketplace in terms of, you know, inspections or system inspections? Sewer scope is the big one. Okay. To, to get the sewer line, you as a homeowner or potential homeowner own the sewer line from the house out to the city. Okay. And nobody knows the condition of that line until they run a camera through it. Okay. So a sewer scope is always a very good idea. Um, radon testing is popular in Colorado. Mm -hmm. We do have some elevated radon. Um, I usually recommend that the uh, buyer wait on a mold or asbestos or environmental testing until after the general inspection. Usually the general inspection will turn up any water issues or potential asbestos, that sort of thing, and you can start going for specialty inspections after the general inspection. Got it, got it. Well, I certainly appreciate your time here. Anything else you'd like to mention uh, while you're, we're here? Thanks for having me out. I All right, well, thank you. I appreciate it, Pete. Thanks so much. You're welcome. Yeah, absolutely.